So nice little uh, salmon trout. I don't know if he's legal. <laughs> Matty getting excited. He seems uh, pretty interested in uh, my burly bag. Oh my God. So make, make sure he doesn't jump in. Oh, that's exactly what I was trying to stop happening. We've got a much better Australian salmon. You get baited. Well, g'day guys. Um, we're down here at Black Point on the Old Peninsula. I did come here a few weeks ago uh, when I did the Port Vincent video. Uh, decided not to fish here because the wind wasn't great, but it's not too bad today. It's coming from behind yourselves on the camera over in, you know, into my face. Um, not too windy at all. Uh, haven't fished here ever before. Not sure what we're going to catch. Um, I've got my light rod, some soft plastics, maybe see if there's some, uh, some flathead around. Um, I'll put the larger rod out just with a paternoster, probably with some pilchards and squid on it. Um, see how we go. We've got a burly block on the uh, on the wash, so uh, that's already attracting in some smaller fish. Let's see if we can um, get some uh, bigger fish in the bucket. Just got a running sinker rig, bit of squid up the top, half a pilly at the bottom, just size six gam gamakatsu hooks. Um, not really sure what to expect, so we'll get this out and see how we go. I have uh, basically 20 pound all the way through on this rig. There's not a lot of uh, current I don't think so I've only got that small um, only got that small uh, ball sinker on. I don't think I need much more. We'll get this burly sorted again. It seems to keep wanting to wash in and we'll keep an eye on that and we'll flick some plastics. So we've just got the uh, Z-Man classic paddle tail. I'll get some um, S-Factor and give it a crack. We have seen some smaller fish around, so I think the barely is working. It might take a little bit to see if there's any larger fish. It feels like a good flathead spot. It certainly has a, a good bank. It's obviously low tide at the moment. Just gonna do slow retrieve here. Oh, that might have been a hit. Might be just weed, I don't know. Or a smaller, smaller fish having a crack. Certainly feels like hits. Oh, there's something, there was something there. I don't think it was very big, but it was uh, having a few little cracks and uh, yeah, pulled it off. Uh, Pull it off the jig head. Well, that's good to know. We might have to swap to a smaller plastic, but uh, at least we know there was some stuff chasing it. That's encouraging. And that was just on the uh, slow retreat, so we'll keep that going. There's definitely some action. Oh, big bites. Well, you know, reasonable bites, they're just not, it feels a bit whiting-ish to be honest. Oh, they're tiny. They're tiny. I just saw them coming in, following it in. Tiny uh, mullet or something, I think. There's definitely fish out there. I can see them. Oh, we had a bite there on the big rod. Yeah, I'm just going to bring that in quick. So it looks like we've got some interest there. Might have been too slow, but let's, uh, oops, let's have a look. Could be something on it. If not, we've probably... Uh, it actually looks like something might be swimming on that. Yes, we've got something. What have we got? Oh, we've got a, a salmon on the uh, on the squidly diddly. So nice little uh, salmon trout. I don't know if he's legal. Hey Google, what's the legal size for salmon trout in South Australia? Salmon is 21 centimetres. Australian salmon can look very similar to Australian herring. So there we go, 21 centimetres. I'll put this camera on so you can have a look. He's only just going to be legal, I think. Yeah, he's, uh, what's that? 20, 22, 23. Oops. He's, oh, needs a wash. But we'll keep him, even if we don't keep him for keep him for eating I will bleed him so he had a broken neck and he's still trying to get away feet are wet it's not cold though 
So even if, uh, as I said, even if we don't keep him for eating, they're a good bait. That's really cool to know. Got our first, uh, first fish of the session. Get some more squid on that one. It's actually a reasonable amount on this still, but. It's good to come to a new spot and actually catch something sort of fairly quickly. I think you saw my frustration out of, over at uh, Point Riley with the, uh, with the squidding the other week. Hadn't tried it before, so it was a bit frustrating when you weren't catching anything. But <coughs> we're on here and salmon are schooling fish, so if we get one, we should get a few. Oh, <laughs> we're having bites already, guys. Not going to get much chance of using the soft plastics at this rate. I mean, we know there's some real little ones out there too. Just going to get that out again. I really don't want to be too close in because uh, I can see all these little teeny tackers. Oh, okay, so they've taken off that, taken off that half pilly. That's fine. Got the tail half. Can't believe. <coughs> That barely is obviously working a treat. It would be working even better if it was in the water. Oh, come on, buddy. It'd be nice if there was some King George whiting around too. Oh, he pulled off. He let go. Just a tiny one. He was probably literally sucking on the tail of that. So yeah, as I said, we'll uh, put this smaller. So I just want to get this on. Nice and straight. It's a 1.0, I think it's a 1.0 finesse, or it might even be a 2.0. But that's, uh, that's all nice. Oh, I'm gonna straighten it up. Yeah, that'll go well. We'll check that bait shortly, but we'll give a couple of casts with our Z-Man grub. Now, what I'm gonna do is just hop this along the bottom, give it a pause, hop hop, give it a pause, hop hop, give it a pause. So the Z-Man had the natural buoyancy, so the jig head will sit down and the, the, uh, the tail will sit up in the water. I'm getting a few little tap taps here. Again, they'll just be the smaller ones. Yeah, right. I'm going to check that bigger rod. What do you reckon guys? Seems to Get some bites and then he's gone all quiet. There's plenty of small bait fish out here. That's very interesting. So we've got our bait on. Bust that out again. Got something. Nothing to write home about it, I think. I think it's a tiny salmon. But look at that, he's engulfed it. Would you look at this little bastard bugger. Look at this little bugger. He's absolutely engulfed that soft plastic. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out without doing him some damage. I'm sorry, dude, but there we go. He's golfed it, I'm sorry. I mean, he's undersized, but I've got to throw him back, but he's not gonna last very long. I guess the tide's coming in because my rod holder wasn't in the water when I put it down there, so. It's only going to be a small tide tonight, unfortunately. But we're on the incoming, so I think we're, we're fishing the right, uh, the right time. There's some mullet in here, which is good. It's a decent sized mullet, just cruising around. Oh, we got something, guys. It's not big. It's a tiny little flatty. Baby flatty. There you go. Now, I reckon. I'm just going to let it see if he calms down. So I'm not a fan of uh, getting spiked. Either in the chest. Nicely hooked in the mouth. I'll just throw him back. Off he goes. Whoop, he nearly swam back into the shore. 
we may have something already. Again, not very big if it is. Oh no, it's just weed. <laughs> Maddie getting excited. Felt too good to be true, to be honest. I guess that sun is, uh, you know, that 40, 40 degree mark. Not, yeah, probably 35 to 40 degree mark in the sky. So it's that sort of time when you might expect to catch a few fish. I just uh, have so much fun with the soft plastics, that's all. Really enjoyed getting into the soft plastics and this uh, Shimano Raider rod is, is, is an absolute dream with the Ultegra 2500 reel. Couldn't be happier with the purchase. You can uh, go back and have a look at the purchase in the card above. Oh, big bite there. Oh, another big pull, but needs some actual commitment. Oh, now I've picked up the weed. That was just right in front of me there. Wasn't the weed pulling before. As you actually see, that's uh, come off the jig head a little bit. Put some earth factor back on. Seems to fire him up, this S factor, pretty, uh, pretty hard. Another big pull. I'm gonna just put a uh, hook on, fairly light, with a uh, few gents, because these mullets seem to be uh, quite interested in getting caught. <laughs> have been gazumped because my idea was to uh, put some gents in to catch the uh, mullet hanging around this burly bag but Mr. Igore has just swum around and I think maybe gobbled some of them up. He seems uh, pretty interested in uh, my burly bag and that means the mullet have uh, skedaddled. Thanks buddy. So guys literally all we have is my leader down to a hook with a split shot and a small hook with gents. And we're literally gonna try and catch the mullet that were hanging around here. Oh my God. I don't know what you gotta to do to catch these fish. Any suggestions, welcome. Comment below. I have one tiny, teeny, tiny hook on. About six gents and I'm getting what I would consider reasonable bites. I think I've got one finally. <laughs> he was swimming in with me. And it's a bloody good size finally. Hey, oh, nice try. Oh, he broke me hook off. He broke me hook off. Reasonable size. You should go. So make sure he doesn't jump in. Ah, oh, that's exactly what I was trying to stop happening. Got to hold him by his... So 30 centimetres, so good size. We'll take that. Just going to give him a wash again. Hold him tight. Nice mullet. Oh, hopefully it's decent. Feels all right. Got Mr. Singray in here too. What have we got here? We've got a much better Australian salmon. Here we go, probably, I don't know, half a kilo, decent. Happy with that. Starting to get a bit of a feed happening. Let's give him a bleed, get him in the bucket. And uh, uh, let's get some more pillies out on the uh, big rig. Now, what have I done here? Try not to get my two lines engaged there. Good to know that there's some bigger ones around. Again, they generally in schools. <laughs> Though, you know, I said that earlier, didn't I? <laughs> and we caught one and didn't catch another one for ages. Anyway, pulled that salmon in right in front of the Mr. Eagle Ray that was visiting back again. I was just thinking, oh, don't take my salmon. I would love to catch a, you know, 45 centimeter flatty, that'd be all right. But I'm probably not gonna with uh, 
with the way I'm fishing, unless I go back to the soft plastics, but I'd love to get four or five mullet. Maybe the mullet have uh, moved on for the day. I'll give it one more cast, just further out that way. And then uh, move back to the soft plastics, because uh, yeah, I'd love to catch a legal, uh, a legal size flatty. So, radio guys, we are gonna see if we can get a flatty. We got the uh, five inch new chicken from Z-Man on a one six long shank finesse hook. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to do uh, the casting down the, the beach first. Just on a slow retrieve. It's been a bit weird. It hasn't been sort of, you know, that constant, you know, catching one species or another. It's the small salmon, the flatty, the mullet, the bigger salmon. Haven't really been able to, I guess, string a few together. All right, well, given the water's fairly clear and we've not had any pulls or anything on the new chicken, I'm um, gonna try the, the mud minnows that uh, got chomped on at Port Vincent last week. So, see if that natural more presentation might uh, get something fired up. So, radio guys, we've got the uh, four inch, the four inch or three inch? I think it's a three inch mud minnows. Don't know if I've got anything. Feels heavy. Doesn't feel like head shakes though. Uh, swimming. It's definitely something swimming. Oh, tiny, tiny, tiny salmon trout. Yeah, no real head shakes on that one. We won't feel that. Don't think he is legal. No. 20 centimeters needs to be 21. We'll let him go. Now, I've got to pick up my stuff here because it's starting to get in the water. All right, let's get some more pillies. Again, if it's a fish, it's a very small one. They're certainly taking that uh, pilchard though. So we've uh, just gone for the chunks of pilly rather than the full half pillies. Let's see if that gets some more direct bites. Yep, top and bottom. That's what you get using pillies. You get, you get baited. We've got one pilly tail sort of there uh, and the bottom hook and we've got some squid up the top. Huh, didn't even take the baits. All right, well, let's just fish it. Let's just get it out there and hold it for a bit. Seeing as we seem to be getting the bite sort of as soon as we get in the water. G'day guys, we're back. Um, just changed the battery over. It's barely cranking again. Don't know why it's... Flick the soft plastic again a little bit. Let's see if it's worthwhile cranking up that uh, bigger rod again. Certainly dropped a bit in temperature as that sun's gone behind. Oh, big hit there. Sun's gone behind the clouds. Come on, take it. It's just tiny fish having a little crack at it. Need a big flatty just to lift up and say, I'll have that, thanks. Get a weed. Gotta get some of those weedless uh, jig heads. Absolutely imperative. 
All right, a couple more casts of this one and I'm gonna go back to the grub. Gotta be a flatty out here, gotta be. Incoming tide, gonna have to just about bring all this stuff up again. Rightio guys, we've gone back to the grub. Last time was in the motor oil, this time we're going in the blood worm. Might be something interesting, possibly if there's any whiting out there too. I may not have enough to do it on camera with batteries and stuff, but I'll probably hit the Ardross and Jetty on the way home, see if I can catch some squid. Dead keen to catch another fish. Gonna give these pilly chunks another crack. Surely, again, as the sun is coming down, as the tide is coming in, we can get another reasonable salmon. Unders or overs, fingers crossed. So if we don't, I'd rather pack up now and head to Ardrossan as the sun's going down rather than after the sun has gone down. Bite, 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 bite. Oh my God, what do you gotta do? They were good bites, the tugs. Different bites to what we've had previously. Let's have a, doesn't feel like I've got much all on there. This is, uh, this is gonna be the last one, guys. If we don't get this, I'm gonna head to Ardrossan, which I probably won't film, just because there's gonna be, uh, I'm not as organized after I've already filmed a session. And secondly, batteries are running out really quick. But as I did last week, if I do catch some extra stuff, I'll, uh, I'll show you what we finished up with when we get home. All right, plenty of little live bait splashed around when that one hit the water. So hopefully there's some bigger fish under them. Big pools, big pool, 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 but nothing. Got something, finally. Might be our last fish of the day, mate. Another tiny salmon, but at least we caught it. They've been ripping me off for a while there. So there we go, he's uh, 24 centimetres, so he'll be fine for some bait. Probably use him and old mate as uh, teasers for the squid at Ardrossan. <sighs> Tough going, man, but we've got a feed. Pretty good session, two of the smaller salmon, one of the larger ones, that really small flatty. Um, as I said, the sun's going down, so I'm going to pack up now. I'm going to head to Ardrossan Jetty. I probably won't film that, as I said. Uh, you've seen plenty of catching me, uh, me catching squid lately. But uh, if I do catch some more fish and squid there, I'll uh, show you what we finished up with when we get home. Please give us a like and subscribe. We're really trying to grow the channel as quickly as we can, um, uh, so we can start doing even more fun stuff for you guys. And uh, yeah. If you're on York Peninsula looking for somewhere different to fish that's not uh, full of people, Black Point seems to uh, be worth it if the uh, wind and weather's right. Well, G'day Legends, we're back home. I did say I'd let you know if we caught anything else at our Drossen. Uh, we did. We did catch just a small squid. I've already cleaned it um, to go along with um, the rest of our catch, which was the the, the few salmon, the smaller ones, this larger one, and the 30 centimetre mullet. That was a really fun little session trying Black Point and trying something different. Um, there was heaps of people on our Dross and Jetty. Great night for it, clear water, very little wind, but there just wasn't really any squid that were biting or on the chew, as they would say. So yeah, we ended up with what we did. Catch you next time. Hope you liked it. Leave a comment below, let us know. I really hope this is recording. Ah, no, now he's. Oh, that was close, guys. That'll run the bloopers, I reckon.